Hello and welcome to Daily Salah Digital. This is Akshita Mehta. Here are some of the news that made the headlines today. During a summit in San Francisco, US President Joe Biden and his Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping reached an agreement to restart military to military communications after a 2-year period of strained relations. The leaders committed to addressing the production of fentanyl, a major contributor to drug overdoses in the United States. They also discussed alleged human rights violations in China, concerns related to Taiwan, and advancements in artificial intelligence. However, in response to a reporter's question, President Biden said the Chinese leader was a dictator in a sense. He runs a communist country based on a different form of government as compared to the USA. On Thursday, the air quality in Delhi fluctuated between the categories of very poor and severe due to unfavorable meteorological conditions hindering the dispersion of pollutants. According to a collaborative project conducted by the Delhi government and IIT Kanpur, findings revealed that vehicular emissions contributed to approximately 38% of the city's air pollution on Wednesday. The projection indicates an increase to 40% on Thursday. During an event, Chief Minister Sidramaya announced plans to permit protests and rallies in front of Bengaluru's town hall. He said that he would consult and discuss with Karnataka's Advocate General to explore possible measures to allow protests in front of the town hall. Since 2022, protests have been confined to Freedom Park in Bengaluru, but the Chief Minister is now considering a change in this arrangement. Senior BJP MLA and former Deputy Chief Minister R. Ashoka revealed that he, along with four to five other legislators, are eyeing the position of Leader of Opposition in the Karnataka Legislative Assembly. He expressed confidence that whoever is elected would receive widespread acceptance. The BJP Legislature Party meet is scheduled for November 17th, during which the announcement of the Leader's election, who will also assume the role of Leader of Opposition in the Assembly, is expected. Ashoka addressed speculation surrounding his name and those of MLA such as Sunil Kumar and former Minister Ashwat Narayan, stating that none of them has formally applied for the position and that such a culture is not there in the party. UCO Bank reported an erroneous transfer of approximately Rs 820 crore to account holders, describing it as an error. The bank has taken corrective measures to reverse this transfer, successfully recovering Rs 649 crore, which accounts for 79% of the mistakenly credited amount via immediate payment service. Through proactive actions, the bank has blocked the recipient's account, but it has not clarified whether the technical glitch resulted from human error or a hacking attempt. The remaining balance of Rs 171 crore is in the process of recovery and the bank has reported the matter to law enforcement agencies for necessary action. The National Rifle Association of India has revised its selection policy for the 2024 Paris Games, awarding only two bonus points to Olympic quota winners in the firearm category and one point to air weapons shooters. Previously, Olympic quota winners received up to 10 bonus points for securing a World Championship goal, with 4th place finishers earning 5 points. In World Cups, gold, silver and bronze medalists received 6, 4 and 2 bonus points respectively. This change addresses the significant advantage that shooters who earned quota places in events like World Cups, World Championships and Asian events had over other Olympic aspirants. The NRAI governing body in its recent meeting decided that the final average score would be the average of the three best Olympic selection trial scores out of four trials, to which the bonus point would be added. Additionally, the Federation outlined the eligibility criteria for the Olympic selection trials in May specifying that it would involve a competition among the top five shooters in each category. These were the major updates for the day. Like, comment and subscribe to Daily Salah Digital for the latest news.